What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you the best in-game settings for enlisted, for low to mid-end systems, in order to increase your performance and still get a great gaming experience. This should be quite an easy tutorial, everything you need will be listed in the description below. Open up the game and navigate to your graphic settings. Set your resolution to your native monitor resolution, and the window mode to full screen. I have set this option to window, as it's easier to record. Below, set the monitor option to your preferred monitor. In case you're using a powerful enough NVIDIA GPU, then set the NVIDIA DLSS option to performance. Otherwise, disable this option. Your resolution scale should be set to 100% to get the best in-game resolution. In case none of the next tweaks helped you out as much as you wanted, then you can reduce this option to around 85-90%, to especially for low-end graphics cards. Set the Temporal Anti-Aliasing Quality option to Low. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency to Off and disable VSync. Make sure to limit your frame rate to a value above your screen's refresh rate, but below the maximum FPS you can get. This will reduce the amount of resources needed to run the game. Below, set your texture quality option to low. Disable anisotropy and the enhanced texture filtering option should also get reduced to a minimum. Set the shadow quality option to low. Disable shadows from effects. Set the global illumination quality option to medium. Atmospheric scattering quality and ambient occlusion quality should be set to low to save some resources when using a low-end GPU. You should also disable the Improved Reflections option, and all of the other graphics quality settings below should be reduced to a minimum to increase your performance while playing the game. Don't forget to apply your changes. In case you need more performance, then make sure to follow my Enlisted FPS Boost Guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.